Welcome to the introductory session of Stress Buster series. On page three in your playbook, you will see the introductory session for today, as well as the eight weekly sessions. I do recommend that you take them in the order they are organized in, particularly sessions one, two, and three, to ensure that you have foundational techniques and concepts mastered so that you can apply them to the other areas of your life lessons in sections four to eight. Let's begin by taking a few moments to address what inspired or motivated you to want to take this program. There are no right or wrong answers to these questions. They are very personal and the answers belong to you and you only. What events, situation, feelings, or gaps in your life inspired you to begin this program? What are you expecting to achieve, change, or improve by participating in this program? Identify how you would be living your life differently if you felt happier. Why is this important to you? What difference will it make to your life and the living of it? Well, answering these questions will help to give you a vision of how you will achieve more happiness and success in your life. Today, we are going to look at a few areas to help you begin identifying what is causing you to feel that you aren't currently living a purposeful life. Let's try to find the gaps. In our introductory session on page nine in your playbook, we will begin with success cycles, eliminating chaos and work-life balance. For those of you who may remember the Ed Sullivan show, it was a family variety show. Everyone watched it on Sunday nights at eight o'clock. Ed Sullivan was an odd looking dude and had absolutely no talent of his own, but he did introduce the world to the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Elvis, and many more. There was one entertainer who would throw up seven china plates on pointed spinning sticks and have them all spinning around simultaneously. He would run back and forth, re-spinning re the plates so they wouldn't fall down when they wobbled. Does this sound like you every day of your life? Well, think of it as each plate as work, family, health, finances, get the picture? Just when you think you have one part of your life in order, another part falls down. And for this fellow on TV, they did. Eventually, one plate would crash to the floor and then the other. Then he would start running back and forth more furiously than before, trying to keep them all spinning. And so it went on. Well, life is just like that. We can't keep all the plates spinning at the same time. That would just be a perfect life and life just doesn't work that way. Actually, it might be really boring anyway. I wouldn't know. I'm always seem to be dealing with at least one or two wobbly plates. In life, the plates will crash one then the other. Typically not all at once, but that can happen to some and everything seems to fall apart at, on them at once. The fact that the plates crashed is not the issue as, they, as we all know they will. The issue is how you are responding to life when they do crash. And even more so, what are you doing to live your life so they won't crash as often? Typically, there is one common element about you or how you're living your life that is the core issue that affects not just that one area that crashed, but why all the areas will eventually crash. It is a snowball effect. For instance, if you are not giving enough of your time to your relationship with your partner, your life partner, due to work demands, for instance, what do you think will happen? When that relationship breaks down, then what will happen? And how will that affect the other parts of your life? Let's take a look at the success cycles that are going on in your life, both personally and professionally, that you may not be aware of. You are always somewhere on these cycles and understanding them can give you your direction to your next step to empowering living. This success cycle is going on in every area of your life, whether it be work, personal, health, wealth, or career related. Think of an area of your life you may be currently struggling with and relate to the cycle as I explain it. Everything begins with a state of mind. 
a definite purpose and a burning desire. A burning desire is not just a wish or a hope. It is passion. A burning desire is what leads to action. If you don't have a burning desire, then chances are nothing will change or happen. A burning desire is what leads you to action. Visualize yourself already in possession of the success you desire. If you have noticed in TV ads, the travel agencies show people on the beach and drinking wine in fine restaurants, or the car dealership shows successful people driving classy cars along the seacoast with the top down and the wind blowing in their hair. The idea is that if you begin to visualize yourself as one of those people, you will eventually purchase a trip or a car. Why? Because you move in the direction of your most dominant thought. This is the most important message for you to hear today. It is so important that it will be repeated throughout the program. Your previous thoughts have made you what you are today, and you have literally built your life from them. The real question is, what do you want to become tomorrow? Let's talk about goals. Written goals are powerful. Do you know what percent you will reach your goals just for writing them down? 50%. Yes, write them down. They are 50% complete. Studies of Harvard grads showed that only 3% had written goals and only 3% were financially successful. So why don't we write down our goals if this technique is so powerful? Well, there are three types of goals. Long-term, which is one year plus. Short-term, which is this week or month. And daily action goals. Later on in this program, we will come back to setting and achieving goals. But for now, write down a goal you would like to achieve in any area of your life. Remember, your chances of achieving your goal is increased 50% just by writing it down. If we fail to plan, we plan to fail. Without a plan, our goals are just dreams. Our burning desire drives us to create definite plans to acquire our goal. Napoleon Hill once said, what the mind can conceive and believe it will achieve. Without a plan, your goals are only dreams, never to be manifested. Everything that exists today, cars, smartphones, or jet airplanes, started as a thought in someone's mind. You move in the direction of your most dominant thought. Our brains become magnetized and we become laser focused. Did you know that one hour of planning saves three hours of execution? How many hours a week could you save at work if you took more time to plan? Apparently, we spend more time planning our vacations than our financial futures. What is the challenge of working your plan? Well, it's sticking to the plan. How many New Year's resolutions go by the wayside by the end of January? If you have your goals set and then stay focused on your daily actions, like such as how many sales calls did you make today? Or how many steps did you take? Or how many carbs can you count? The accumulation of these daily actions is what will drive your success to your short-term goals that build to your long-term goals. The real challenge is the self-discipline to be consistent with your daily work and plan. Did you know that 90% of what we worry about never comes to pass? Can you recall worrying about a situation at home or at work, then it worked itself out? Your own doubts and fears are your worst enemies and are far more likely to stop you from reaching your goals and dreams than anything anyone else can say to you. Doubt and fear can stop you temporarily, but only you can stop yourself permanently. We'll revisit this later in the program. Fear immobilizes people and paralyzes them not to take action just when you need it the most. The majority of people who fail are influenced by the opinions of others. Elvis was told at his first edition that he couldn't sing and don't bother trying or coming back. We've heard countless stories about people who are very successful in their lives, and they were told they didn't have the ability or the talent to do exactly what their heart told them to do. Who 
is the most important person you will ever have a conversation with? It's you. Your whole world exists between your ears and you are the creator of your destiny. While we are immobilized and paralyzed with fear, it causes us not to do the very things we need to do to become more successful. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. That is why it all depends on the choices you make, and they are all yours to make each and every day. You have a mind of your own. Use it. Don't allow anyone else to rain on your parade. Fear is nothing more than a state of mind. Take control of it. How do you respond when things get difficult, as they always will from time to time? What is important about the falling china plates? We all know they will fall eventually, but the real message here is that he just picked up another one and kept on going. At the end of the day, what else is there to do? Hanging on to the past, a relationship, a poor boss, a job, a house will not serve you very well. There is a difference between past memories and not letting go of the past. It's interesting that life goes up and down in circles. Sometimes you hit a rough patch with your own health or relationship or your finances aren't doing well. What happens when we get into difficulty? We tend to stop and assess, evaluate, and make different choices and decisions that we otherwise wouldn't have. When everything is going well, we tend not to do this, just riding along on the wave. Do you know what the meaning of Chinese crisis is, loosely translated? Most times when we face difficulty, we fail to recognize the opportunity it has brought to our attention. Life is a game. There are no mistakes, only lessons. And the only mistake is not learning the lesson. Typically, we come out of this stage more focused and determined than before. You are more focused on your health, enjoying that important relationship, saving instead of spending, or whatever it may be. Always remember that you can have a fresh start at any moment you choose because the thing that we call failure is not falling down, but staying down. You choose your response. When you have moved through the difficult stage with new resolve and confidence and a new vision for yourself, you will come to faith and courage. Faith in yourself, your family, your company, your friends, your country. Faith and courage are only a state of mind created by your own BS. Yes, all yours. What is BS? They are belief systems that can lead you to failure or success. What do you choose to believe? Your belief systems rule your world. Whatever you choose to believe will eventually come to pass. Your belief systems are the filters and lenses that you view and experience the world through. We will come back to this in a few more sessions because your belief systems are the roots of your self-imposed barriers and you will be more aware of how they shape your life and the living of it. They say that quitters never win and winners never quit and that perseverance outweighs any other weakness or challenge that you may have. Persistence doesn't recognize failure. It is your insurance against failure. Your habits will make you or break you. Pay attention to how you think and what you do on a daily basis. You need to make your own breaks as the only break you will get is a self-made one through persistence. Ask yourself, am I allowing negative thoughts to create my future? Over time, am I becoming more fatigued and complacent and rigid and flexible, stressed and worried or frustrated? Am I blaming others or circumstances for my lack of success? Or am I choosing to see challenges as new opportunities for personal growth, welcoming change, developing myself, keeping a problem-solving attitude, and seizing new opportunities when they present themselves, even as difficulties? You may have noticed that your success cycles are not a circle. They have a direction. 
A cycle is either going up or down in a spiral motion, like a spinning top. Now think about the different cycles you have going on in your life and see which one is on a downward spiral. What happens when you are on a downward spiral is that there is something causing you to get stuck. So you can't move your cycle upwards or forwards towards success. What does this mean to you? Well, you feel as though you are stuck and the same circumstances keep repeating themselves. Why does that happen? Well, it means there is a lesson for you to learn and you haven't learned it yet. A great example of this is my visa card balance that just won't go down. <laughs> so my financial cycle never goes up. It can be a belief you have that is holding you back, some habit you keep doing, repeating old patterns, or just plain denial about something in your life or your past that won't let you move ahead. What do you need to do to get past it? and take your cycle into an upward direction. Take a look, <coughs> excuse me, at all the areas of your life and think about the cycles they are in according to your success cycle. Maybe you don't have goals in some of them or a plan, or you have a plan, but you aren't following it. For instance, I have a plan to lose 10 pounds, but I am not going to the gym three times a week and still eat candy every day. <laughs> what about difficulty? Are you there in some area of your life and you don't have the faith or are you not being persistent until you reach your goal? The purpose of this exercise is to help you gain awareness of how you are living your life now and figure out where the gaps are to your success so you know what is stopping you from living that happy, peaceful life that you so much want to live and truly deserve. Success does not respond to wishes and dreams, only to a burning desire with definite plans throughout constant persistence. Which cycle do you struggle with the most and why? At what point of the success cycle do you find yourself getting stuck most of the time? What needs to happen to get it going in an upward direction? What is important about the china dishes falling? We are always juggling with our daily responsibilities and activities, knowing that one will fall, then the other. The key is to deal with one, then keep on going until the next one. It's not the falling, but the getting back up that counts. What is important about the cycle not being a circle? Keep in mind, it means that your cycles have direction. Each one can only be going up or down and you are either moving forward or backward in that cycle. Thanks for that.